Sync fairs are a form of synchronization which will automatically take changes you set on the server and send those changes to clients. Sync fairs are an easy way to synchronize data from the server to clients. To use a sync fair, you must only include the sync fair attribute above whichever field you wish to synchronize. In this example, you'll notice there are quite a lot of options available, but they are not required. A sync fair with default options would look like this, just the attribute and nothing else. But I'm going to keep the one up with options so that we can talk about those. The order of these options may be whatever you like and you you can include whichever ones you want. The first I have is channel. I'm setting the channel to unreliable so that my updates will send on the unreliable channel. The alternative is reliable, which will send the sync fair updates reliably each time. For sync fairs that update frequently, I prefer to use unreliable. It's worth noting that when even using unreliable, the correct value will eventually get the clients. Next is read permissions. This is who may receive value updates. When set to observers, any client which has view of this object will get the updates. When set to owner only, only the owner of the the object will get value updates. Send rate is next and this determines how often the value may update. I have it set to 100 milliseconds. This means that the value will send to clients at most every 100 milliseconds. Only the latest value will be sent. If you were to use zero as a send rate, then sync fairs may send every tick, but only when changed. It's worth noting that if you set a sync fair and then send a remote procedure call in the same tick, the sync fair will still arrive just after the remote call. This is intentional to ensure order. As remote calls go through instantly, sync fairs are time based. The on change callback is next. I have on change equals name of on color. This means that anytime this sync fair changes, be it on server or client, my method named onColor will also be called. This is useful for performing actions whenever the value changes. Let's look at that method now. Sync fair callback methods require three parameters. The first two will be the same type of the sync fair, which is color in this case, and the last a boolean. The first parameter is the value before the change, and the second the value after the change. The last parameter indicates if the callback is running on the server or the client. This can be useful to perform various operations for client or server only. Only. Keep in mind that by the time the callback method occurs, the sync fair has already been updated. I do have some logic in this method, we'll come back to that. Going down a bit, we have just a tiny bit more code. Whenever the server starts, I am initiating a coroutine. In that coroutine, I regularly wait a short delay and then change the color field to a random color value. Keep in mind that this is being done on the server as I only start the logic using on start server. Also notice that I am not updating the renderer in the coroutine. This is important for the demonstration. Let's jump back up to the callback method. See that if boolean as server is false, then I update the renderer color. This means the renderer will only update if the callback is being received on the client. And to demonstrate that the callback also works on the server, I added debug log with the new color. Now in the project, I have my color changing object selected and you can see it has the color changer script on it. When I hit play and start the server, you are seeing a debug print, but the color is not updating. This is expected because the callback is occurring on the server, but not the client since the client is not connected. Once I connect the client, they will begin getting sync fair updates automatically which will also invoke the callback on clients and as shown in the code, will also set the color on the renderer. 